Let your enthusiasm excite others. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 2. For I know how eager you are to help, and I have been boasting to the churches in Macedonia that you in Greece were ready to send an offering a year ago. In fact, it was your enthusiasm that stirred up many of the Macedonian believers to begin giving. Enthusiasm and cheer are contagious. Paul writing to the church at Corinth is encouraging them that their attitude of giving became an example for the Macedonian church to follow. However, there were few Christians who were unwilling and Paul was exhorting them that God loves a cheerful giver. The giving should not be because we have to, but because we ought to. The attitude of must give is mandatory since Jesus was generous and he still is. To give, you need to be enthusiastic that your contribution could make the world of difference. It has to be experienced and not lectured about. Many who are excited about giving are those who have enjoyed giving and cherish the joy that boomerangs with it. Dale Carnegie has shared about Ralph Waldo Emerson and his take on enthusiasm. Do listen to it as I read it carefully for you. Every great movement in the annals of history, said Emerson, is the triumph of enthusiasm. It is derived that magic name from two Greek words, en meaning in, and theos meaning God. Enthusiasm is literally God in us. The enthusiastic man is one who speaks as if he were possessed by God. This quality is the most effective, the most important factor in advertising and selling goods and getting things done. The largest advertiser of any single product in the world came to Chicago 30 years ago with less than $50 in his pocket. Wrigley now sells $30 million worth of his chewing gum every year and on the wall of his private office hang the framed words of Emerson. Nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. Are you enthusiastic about what you're doing? If so, you can excite a whole of people and without a doubt, you will be a success. Let your enthusiasm excite others. Amen.